The bad news, your property taxes are going up 3.4% this year and next year. The good news is they were supposed to go up 4.9% this year and next year. So city council got serious and cut some of the money that uh, they were going to charge us. Why did that happen? How did that happen? The main thing is this. People were ready to explode about paying more taxes. They made that loud and clear to city council in the last month. They are fed up with paying more property taxes. We've been doing it for years. So council took that to heart and they got, they got serious and they realized we have a major problem here on council. For years, we've been putting all kinds of expenses onto property taxpayers, which they really shouldn't be paying. Social housing, policing costs, those are federal and provincial responsibilities, not city responsibilities. But the city, because we're the last line of defense here for homeless people, the city was stepping up and trying to solve this problem. With this crunch though, with people out of work, people not getting raises, businesses hurting, they're weighing the pain and they realize we can't keep putting all of this onto property taxpayers. We've got to make the province and the federal step up, federal government step up. How are we gonna do that? Well, we can't step into the breach. Can't pay all this money ourselves. So in this budget deliberations, they turned down social housing projects. They didn't give the police all the money they wanted. And they said, province and federal government, you're gonna have to step up. So the interesting thing in the next few months is what are the feds in the province gonna do? We now have provincial and federal governments that are committed to some of these social issues in a way the Conservatives never were. So Don Ivison, the mayor, is hopeful that there's gonna be some action. So we'll see.